guys, today we're gonna learn some science experiments that you can do at home. Today we're gonna build a roller coaster. This is simple pipe insulation that you can buy from your local hardware store. We have some blue tape, a marble, but anything round will do a bouncy ball, even Play-Doh. Um, you'll need scissors because we're gonna cut our pipe insulation in half. This isn't a necessity, but it can be a good structure to use, and I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Okay, right now we're just gonna go ahead and cut our pipe insulation in half. Now that we have our pieces cut in half, we're gonna build a roller coaster. If you have some spots that are jagged like I'm pointing to, no worries. You can fix those with some blue tape to just kind of build the wall up. Right now I'm taping it to the shelf, but you can tape it to the wall. You can stack up some books, some toys, get a sibling to kneel down, whatever you want. You'll need enough acceleration here if you're going to add a loop-de-loop -loop at all. You might also wanna think about Newton's other laws of motion and how you see them enacted in roller coasters. I am taping the two pieces together right now. If you need to add more friction to slow your marble down, you might want to add the tape on the top of the roller coaster. Otherwise, if you do not need friction, go ahead and add it to the bottom piece of the pipe insulation. Here I'm making my loop-de-loop. -loop. Bonus points if any of you out there know what is the force that will keep you inside the roller coaster, and in this example, your marble inside the roller coaster on a loop-de-loop. -loop. There's a science word we use for that. As you can see, I'm taping it right to the ground and having a little bit of trouble, no worries. We're gonna just use some more tape here. You might wanna enact a brother or a sister or a cousin or grandparent or mom or dad or somebody to help you build this, but you can certainly build it on your own as you can see me doing. So I'm taping it to the floor. And as you build your roller coaster, you might discover that you need more momentum or more acceleration to make it through a loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm also adding a cup on the end of my roller coaster. You don't need to do that. That's just to catch the marble when your marble goes through the roller coaster so it doesn't fly somewhere in the room and then you can't find it. You will discover as you build your roller coaster that you might have some issues, maybe the tape's coming off in a spot or you have to move it because it's not enough acceleration. And that's okay, that's part of science. You can just experiment with it and learn and discover as you go. Here I had to make some adjustments and figure out my uh, roller coaster direction. One of Newton's laws tells us about that. Science can be a lot of fun. I have all different types of roller coaster pieces here. I had two loop-de-loops. I had it over a box of books here. I had a side winding. Many different things that you can do. That's it, folks. If you'd like to learn more about science and have a great time learning, sign up for the class that I'll be teaching later this summer.